Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel CodeLogic. So today we are going to see how to develop a faculty management system using Angular and Node.js. So we have started the series and in which we have completed our first part. Now uh, we are going to create the setup for the backend. But uh, before moving further, uh, if you want any college project, uh, you can contact us on our Instagram ID. Link for that in description box below. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, this is our backend project. So here, uh, first we'll create a new environment dot environment file that is dot env, and inside which we are going to define some variables like the Mongo URL. Uh, this URL is used to connect to the database in which we are going to use the MongoDB. localhost 27017 forward slash faculty management and the API port is uh, 3001 now we'll close this file here we'll create a folder config inside which we are going to create a new file database.js and inside which we are going to define some constants first is mongos and we'll use the require function there and we'll import the mongos after that we are going to use that constant variables which we have declared in our environment file and to access that we use process.environment and we'll export dot connect inside this method we are going to connect to the database so for that mongos dot connect and uh, we'll pass here URLs that is our constant and we have added two parameters there okay we'll do some indentation and then if the response is successful then we are going to print a message on console that is connection is successful for the database and if there are any errors then we are going to catch that error and we will print that in our console And if there are any errors, then we are going to exit from the system. Process dot exit one. This will end this process. There is an error that was exports. We need exports. Okay. That's gone now. Now uh, we'll create a new file here, app.js. It's uh, JS. Now we require some modules here. Dot environment. Dot config. and we require the, our database.js file 
and we have used a connect method here now we define some constants like express require express we'll use chorus property here we have defined a constant chorus then the body parser and we have defined the app pull to express and app dot listen app dot use body parser dot json app dot use chorus and inside which we are passing the origin and uh, origin is like http localhost 4200 on that port our angular application is running okay after that we need to export this module so for that module dot export is equal to app and now uh, we are going to define some apis like uh, get method so for that app dot get we are using this for testing for now we are passing the request and response there and on which we are going to call a function we have defined one variable data there and we have added some value to that that is welcome to code logic and we are going to send that data so to send the data we use result dot send and we pass the data there okay now uh, we will create a new file here index.js here we will define some constant http require http constant app require will give path to the app.js file now we'll create a server http.create server and we'll pass app there we'll create a new constant here api port and we'll use here process.environment to get the value for that variable now we'll declare a new constant here port equal to process dot environment dot port or we use api port there okay now we are going to call the server for that server dot listen on port and if that is successful if the server is running then we are going to print a message the server is running on port and we will pass that port variable and you can see here we can start app by nodeman Now you can see if you hit the port 3001 then you can see the message welcome to the code logic so yeah that's it for the video if you have any doubts or suggestions you can contact us on our instagram id that is code logic thank you for watching the video if you like it please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye